Here's the Reds right hander Matt Latos. How about Latos looking for number one is the win column. I asked him about the restaurant. He goes yep. I was in there four or five times. In fact I signed something for one of Matt's aunts. There's a swing and a miss Pierre with a half hearted effort there looked like he thought something else was on the way. And he gets in there apparently me. Now they won 10 in a row last year leading to the big good night. Michael McHenry to get it started and it just went downhill from there. Here's a check swing. He went around and boy oh boy. Latos looks ultra sharp here tonight. Got him. This lineup from top to bottom feeling the pressure of the lack of offense that they have produced this year. Breaking ball that tipped right into the glove of Ryan Hannigan and another strikeout for Latos. Olivo, even though he's got a lot of veteran guidance and experience, he's not the, the catcher of the future for the Marlins. Rob Brantley is. That's one reason why he was in there last night catching Jose Fernandez. That's number nine, a new season high in terms of strikeouts for Matt Latos. Swing and a miss in the tag. Number so two. When you compile it all together, he's become a workhorse. He's become a guy. Looked like he went around, and he did. That's strike three. The same way about the Pirates. I think it makes for better baseball. I mean, a whole lot better than having these guys out here playing. They are pitch coming to Marte. Got him swinging. Got him swinging, and he fans his side. Gone swinging is Jones. That's five strikeouts. And that's all for Walker and the Pirates. There it is again. Latos would take another one of those right here and right now. But he just blows him away with a high fastball in that opening frame. And there is strike three called first. Latos two and one lifetime in six starts against the D-backs. Uh, six and one on the year, and he got that loss in his last start. That was a four nothing loss against the Pittsburgh Pirates when he gave up three runs in the first inning, and then really turned it up a notch. Practice all year. Sometimes they're just instructed to just stay as far as you can and don't swing. Because those questions come every day for Matt Latos. They would only come once every five. He strikes out. What a strong inning that was for Matt Latos. He strikes out the side, but uh, they, you know, for a lot of them, it's the first time away from home. They don't know where, you know, what's going on. There's another strikeout. Retire Kubel. And he does, and he does it on strikes. He went hard and he goes soft breaking ball inside and takes care of the pinch hitter Hinsky. Chases a sharp breaking ball. That's a strikeout. There's number nine as he gets Bloomquist looking for out number one. Got him. Three pitch strikeout of Montero. Got him. With a 95 mile an hour fastball. And there is strikeout number 12. That is strikeout 13. Matt Latos looking for victory number eight. Well, he makes start number 18. Latos does. He's got a very good record. He would really be a cinch to be an all star had the Reds not blown five of his games in which he left leading. 48. Yeah, they're 12 and a half games out of first place. Got it. Run scored, second to the last in the league. To end the second. Now he gets Bonderman looking very good to the Reds, and this year, no exception. Bonderman here. 
and he does. Leto's coming at him again. Got him for the third time today. Got it. 